Hey, how you doing? Today is the uh, 28th of uh, March. <clears throat> this weekend is uh, <clears throat> uh, WonderCon in uh, Anaheim. Coffee. And um, I'm going to be there uh, at least on Saturday um, unless I get a call <clears throat> uh, from my stepdaughter that... Uh, her uh, delivery date has has moved up a week, and uh, that'd be a good thing. That's fine. Anyway, um, this is stuff I picked up yesterday <clears throat> at uh, Torpedo Comics, and I have to keep reminding myself to say that instead of Big Red, since you know I've been going to Big Red uh, for for you know all the years that it was open in uh, in Orange. <clears throat> I really like it. Uh, one of these days, I should probably just, you know, do a video in there. Although, there's usually people in there. I don't know if they'd want to be uh, be filmed. So, <clears throat> boy, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go. This is all, uh, it's alphabetical by publisher, uh, as I usually try to do. And I'm going to try not to ramble since I picked up a lot of stuff. And... Uh, <clears throat> Eventually, I stopped myself, <laughs> believe it or not, but there's still some stuff I'm missing, so I may be going out later to a uh, couple of the other uh, local shops, um, either uh, a nuclear or uh, end uh, or uh, uh, Quest Comics, Co Comic Quest. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go with uh, Jughead the Hunter, the Hunger. <laughs> The Hunter, Jughead the Hunter. Uh, this is from Archie's. This is a supernatural thing. Uh, Jughead is a, uh, a werewolf who comes from a family of werewolves, and things aren't going well for him or the Riverdale uh, uh, folks we know. This is uh, <clears throat> Black Hammer Age of Doom uh, number nine. I got to go back and uh, check my catalog because I don't. Um, recall if, if I'm missing uh, some issues. Um, I don't think I should be, but uh, we're, we're going to look. <clears throat> this is one that a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, $9.99. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not. Uh, I mean, it is Detective Comics uh, number 1,000. Uh, and it's called Featuring the Night of 1,000 Batmans. Uh, there are about, what, 10 different covers, I think, not including really uh, exclusive ones. And um, I think it, it, whatever era you were, you were into Batman, uh, you would find something. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the Batman I grew up with um, as a kid. And uh, they, they always had, uh, you know, everything was still signed uh, as if it was from Bob Kane, even though we all knew it wasn't him doing uh, the books any longer. Uh, I think even as a kid, it was pretty obvious that uh, there were different artists working on it. But Batman always seemed to have uh, different kinds of costumes or different configurations. There were future Batmans and um, alien Batman and... You know, and he had like hundreds and hundreds of different costumes, uh, you know, for everything. You know, the camouflaged Batman, the the, the snow Batman. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, this is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, I know Paul Dini has a story in there he was talking about online. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Books of Magic, uh, number uh, six. Uh, Tim Hunter uh, is uh, having problems. You know, at first as a teenager, and secondly because he is a, a magician. Uh, we got Heroes in Crisis, number seven of nine. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're still seeing uh, favorite characters uh, being killed off. Um, Freedom Fighters, uh, number four of 12. <coughs> Not dead yet, and I'm going to assume that is uh, probably um, Hitler, 
Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, that's Uncle Sam. That's Uncle Sam, who uh, I guess comes back in this issue. They've been looking for him. Or at least the spirit of, of Uncle Sam um, plays place on Earth X, which has been taken over by, uh, Merrimack has been taken over by Nazis. Um, as we have Dial H for Hero Number One, another book uh, that had uh, different uh, covers. And I like this simply because uh, of all the characters in there. I'm pretty sure some of these characters were ones that um, the original uh, Dial H for character, Dan? Anyway, um, he could turn into a dial phone. I, I, I hope they explain that to kids. Um, I don't think they know, have any clue what that is. Um, this is the uh, facsimile edition of uh, The Incredible Hulk, <coughs> uh, which introduced it, uh, introduced it, introduced uh, Wolverine. My under, I'm pretty sure that he actually appeared in the previous issue, uh, 180, but only for a panel or so, or in silhouette. But this is the actual first uh, full, full issue um, where he appears. And uh, it goes for quite a lot of money. It's a facsimile. They've even uh, you go through here, and they even have the original ads, which I always get a kick out of because I remember uh, that as a kid. Well, I was the kid. It was like what, my late teens at that point. Uh, Hulk Vereens number two, which is fun, not uh, not 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 great, but uh, you know, it's good. And uh, we're gonna see how that goes. It just says number two, and I keep thinking that this is gonna be um, limited series, but uh, it doesn't say that there, so I don't know. Uh, we got Invaders number three, Captain America, Namor, and Winter Soldier. Uh, together again for the first time, I think. And I know there's talk of Namor, uh, because of the new uh, Fox-Disney uh, uh, merger, uh, there's uh, a lot of talk that uh, Namor uh, may eventually be uh, brought in. Uh, they're going to have to be really careful since, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, geez, you know, Marvel's ripping off uh, Aquaman. So we'll see what goes on. Uh, Avengers No Road Home. This is number seven. Um, and I believe it's seven of ten. And we actually have... Uh, last time I said I thought it was just a Conan cover. Conan actually is uh, here in this and has uh, rescued uh, Wanda, the, the Scarlet Witch. And it, it's kind of cool seeing him in action. Uh, this, one of the, this is Fantastic Four... Number four, and it's one of the villains' covers. Uh, why, with all of um, the villains that Fantastic Four had, they brought in uh, uh, Silver Cat or whatever her name is. Um, I think that's her name, Silver Cat, uh, who's a Spider Man sort of villain. Um, it just seems an odd choice for a Fantastic Four book, uh, but what do I know? Here we get so, so, <laughs> Superior Spider-Man. Uh, I can't talk this morning. Superior Spider-Man uh, <clears throat> number uh, four with, uh, looks like Otto actually being heroic, trying to save this young girl. On the cover, which is really nice, uh, really nicely done cover, and it looks like Otto is having a, a rough time, and uh, I think the girl might want to move, and we'll we'll see if this actually has anything to do with the story itself. <coughs> Finally, uh, this is Marvel's doing their 80-year tribute to uh, older uh, comics. And this is uh, Gunhawks, and uh, this is the only uh, uh, cover that I saw in the store. This is one of the Skrulls cover that all of these books uh, have, and I have a number of these. But these are the, the Gunhawks um, 
fighting off against a couple of some skrulls. And if you look closely at the skulls, you'll see that they have like the Rawhide Kid, uh, Kid Cold Outlaw, and uh, Rawhide Kid, Kid Cold Outlaw, and oh my God, I'm blanking on the other one, other guy. But they're in those outfits, which are, which is kind of cool. Um, here we have from IDW. Um, we have Thirty Days of Night, Eben and Stella. I have no clue. Uh, I've always liked. Uh, I love the movie. If you've ever seen the movie, uh, there was also a, a web a tie-in, which was fantastic. You should uh, look that up and see if that's still online. It's sort of a, a prequel um, to 30 Days a Night. And um, I'm looking forward to this. I uh, love good horror, and Niles is a, a, good, a good writer. <coughs> Assassination Nation, been hearing good things about this. Uh, Kyle Starks, Erica Henderson. Uh, I'm curious and not much about it, but I have heard some good things. And I believe it's been uh, <coughs> optioned. Oblivion Song, and this is by Robert Kirkman, and it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, if it's on, if it continues to be ongoing, but uh, it's pretty good. The awesome invention. Finally, uh, from Omni, uh, we have, uh, I'm not, Oni, rather, I'm sorry, I just said Omni. I think it was an Omni Comics for a time. Anyways, from Oni, we have Rick and... <clears throat> Morty and things don't look good. I get the idea that this is some sort of alternate uh, reality that uh, Rick has uh, found, found himself in. And I mean, uh, Morty has found himself in. And uh, poor Morty. Right? Well, that's it. Uh, for now, as I say, uh, I'm going to be running around um, WonderCon <coughs> on Saturday. And looking forward to it, and uh, I'll let you know, uh, see what's going on um, next week, and uh, peace out, take care.